In this video, I will show you a quick way of writing down the tree traversals. So we'll discuss all the three traversals in order, pre-order and post-order. Let's first start with the pre-order traversal. So in pre-order traversal, first visit the root node, then the left subtree and later the right subtree. So root is visited first. So the trick of doing the quick traversal is we start from the root node and go along the edges. And whenever we visit the node first time, we print it. So before starting the traversal, we need to replace the null child with some marker nodes. So H has two null child left and right. So we'll draw two marker nodes. P also has two null child. L has one right child, which is null. So we'll draw one marker node. Z has one left child null. C also has left child null and E has both child null. So these marker nodes were drawn wherever the child was null. So these are drawn to assist us in doing their traversal. So basically what we want is that every node should have two child. So wherever the child was null, we draw these marker nodes. Whenever we are visiting the node first time, we will print it. Start from root and go along the edges. Print node when visiting first time. So we'll start from A. So this is the first time we are visiting it. So let's print it. Then we go to D. So it is the first time. So we print it. Then we go to H. This is the first time. So we print it. Now we go to left of H. Now D. We are visiting second time. So we do not do anything. Now L is listed first time. So we print it. Then P. We are listing first time. So print it. Then we'll go along the edges. Then Z we are visiting first time. So we print it. Then C we are visiting first time. So we print it. And then we visit E first time. So we print it. And then we reach back A. So this is our pre-order traversal. So this is a quick way of writing the pre-order traversal. We just travel along the edges and print the node whenever we visit it first time. Now let's see the in-order traversal. So in in-order traversal, we first visit the left subtree, then we visit root, and at the last, we visit the right subtree. So root is visited second time. So here also, we have to travel along the edges and print when node is visited second time. And for the missing children, let's draw mark on nodes. So H will have two child, which are null. P will also have two child. L will have right child. Z and C have left child missing and E has both child missing. So we draw these marker nodes and let's start the traversal from A. So now we're visiting A for the first time. D we're also visiting the first time. Now H we visited first time. And now we have visited H for the second time. So we print H because we have already visited for the left and for the top. Now D we're visiting second time. So we print D. Now L is first time, P is first time, now P is second time because left we have already visited. Now L we are visiting second time, A we are visiting second time, then we go to the right subtree. Now Z we are visiting second time, C this is first visit and now this is second visit. So C and similarly for E this is first and now this is second visit. So E is also done and then we go back. So this is our in order traversal. So the process is the same. You just have to visit the tree along the edges and print when the node is listed second time because the order is left root right. So root has to be printed when it is listed second time. Now let's check the post order traversal. So in post order traversal, we first visit the left subtree, then visit the right subtree and at the last visit the root. So root is listed third. So the process is the same. We need to travel along the edges and print node when it is listed for the third time. And let's draw the marker nodes. So H will have two child. P will also have two child. L has one right child. So we draw these marker nodes so that all the nodes have two child. So we start the traversal from A and we have to print a node when we visit it for the third time. So this is the first visit to D, then first visit to H, then second visit to H, and now this is the third visit to H. So we print H. Then this is the second visit to D, 
first visit to L, first visit to P, second visit to P, and this is the third visit to P. So we print P. This is the second visit to L. Now third visit to L. So we print L. This is the third visit to D. So we print D. Then second visit to A. First visit to Z. Second visit to Z. First visit to C. Second visit to C. First visit to E. Second visit to E. And third visit to E. So we print E. Then third visit to C. Third visit to Z. And third visit to A. So this is the post order traversal. So the shortcut method for all the three traversal is similar. We have to travel along the edges and just the order in which you are visiting the nodes that is different. In pre order we print when we visit the node first time. In in order we print when we visit the second time. And in post order we print the node when we visit third time. And if you want to understand the iterative and the recursive approach of doing these traversals, you can refer to the suggested videos on the top right corner. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.